Good Thursday afternoon, and thank you for joining us for your first alert news desk update. I'm Jordan Markoff. So we're going to be recapping some of your top stories for the day. We're going to start out with Fort Jackson officials. Yesterday, they confirmed that a soldier who had gone missing is confirmed to be dead. Officials announced yesterday that 40 year old Staff Sergeant Jaime Contreras died after a land navigation course on Monday. By this he loss, at first was reported missing and he was reported missing about 30 minutes after officials say he did not return from that exercise. Later, he was confirmed to be dead. According to an incident commander, a cell phone ping helped them find his body, which was about 50 meters from the course. Now, officials addressed the public in the media yesterday, and in that press briefing, they did say that they still have not identified the cause of death. When we do know more information about that, we will be sure to update you there. Now, another story that we are following today is a death that happened at Dreer Island State Park. We now know the name of the person who was found dead in the waters of Lake Murray near that park. The Newberry County Coroner's Office says 67 year old Randy Cox was that individual who was found dead near the lake. He's from an upstate city, Fountain Inn. Law enforcement was called to that area in prosperity on Tuesday after reports that someone was floating in the water there. Investor investigators say an unoccupied boat was found nearby and Cox was just there visiting Dreer Island State Park. An autopsy was scheduled yesterday to determine his exact cause of death. When we get another update on that, we will be sure to bring that to you. Now, our third story that we are following today, a popular bar in Five Points, Jake's of Columbia, is falling under more legal scrutiny. Now, this bar is located just off of Divine Street in Five Points, and it's racked up another federal lawsuit. This time, it's the fourth one in the past year. All of the suits claim that Jake's overserved its patrons before sending them out onto the roadways. Two of these crashes were fatal. That latest suit accuses bar employees of overserving alcohol to one of its patrons, 23 year old Everardo Galarza, which led to a deadly car accident on Garner's Ferry Road. And that happened right after he had left the bar. Attorney Kenneth Berger accuses the owners of Jake's of trying to make a profit while putting the entire community at risk. Berger says their end game in this lawsuit is not necessarily to shut the business down, but to hold them accountable for their actions. Now, those are some of our top stories we'll be following today. Continue to stay updated online and on our website for more information as it comes out. That's WISTV.com. Thanks for joining us.